as a committee said, yes, the traditional definition of examination we are aware of. And at the same time, the law also says uh, preliminary, intermediate, and terminal. I mean, at the end of the program, final. So you can decide that the examination has to be an entrance examination. We can't stop you from that because that's what the law says. You can decide that it will be intermediate. We can also stop you from that. We you can also decide that it is going to be a final bar examination. We can't also stop you. And in fact, it can be all the three, which I think is really the case now because it's all the three. So that is something we as a committee cannot object to because it is in the law. And unless somebody goes to the Supreme Court and is able to set aside the act itself as being unconstitutional, if you come to us acting pursuant to the act, we have to listen to you. But we disagreed with the interview process as a committee. And our main grounds for disagreeing with the interview process was that we thought that it was too subjective and it was very open to abuse. So we should restrict ourselves rather to the examination process, which is what the law says. Strictly speaking, in my candid opinion, if the law says examination, I can decide that my examination process is an interview process. That's how I examine people. Because labor organizations, I mean, uh, companies, when they're examining people to recruit them, they examine them through an interview process, in addition to the certificates that they bring to them. So it's a question of how you interpret examination. But we insisted, and we had two meetings on this matter. You are here. Is that not what happened? And we said, if you didn't go back and change and remove interview, we will not, as a committee, even listen to you. We discussed it extensively. We all agreed that Ghana has gotten to that critical juncture where we need to carry out far-reaching reforms in the system of legal education. But as you can see in the law, it is the General Legal Council that is vested with the authority and the power to determine the design of the system of legal education in Ghana.